In this video on Northside Custom RC, I'm going to be going over the recipe for a single pump hop setup. This is for a street hopper, so we got a factory lift in the rear and drops all the way low in the front and on the back too. So we got the lays low and still want to be able to, to hop and hit that back bumper. So this is a street hopper setup, single pump. A to Z, how to make it hot. Let's get into it. Now I know you see uh, on this car there's some aftermarket servos and anybody will tell you that the factory servos are all you need to hop. So you can hop with a factory gold. It does not need to be uh, a Jeffrey super pump or a crazy aftermarket servo, you can hop on uh, the Reeves Gold. Now, if you want a harder and faster hop uh, with this setup, it's better to go with the uh, the super pump from Jeffrey's. I know they're out of stock right now. However, uh, in the future, when they come out with new stocks, maybe new versions, uh, check out Jeffrey's because right now the super pump is really the only way to make it faster and hop harder than the factory setup so with that you can get this all done with factory servos the ones in the rear don't really matter they're just holding it up so you can still get by with the reds and the gold in the front is a reefs 300 and it does hit hard so it's, it's able to, to pop the front up and uh, you don't really need any more than that unless you really want to have a faster and harder hop. So with that, let's get into it. So the recipe for a single pump hop setup is obviously need a 3S battery pack on the Castle 10 amp back. You need to do the front servo flip with a short horn. We're looking for 10 to 12 millimeters from the gear to the mounting point. You want to do the flip crisp drive shaft mod. Free up that drive line. And once you've done that, you got the, the, the voltage turned up to 8.4 volts. Uh, you want to make sure the weight balance is right. So for us, the weight balance is any type of upset from all the way up is going to bring that nose down. So you notice here, any type of upset, that nose comes down. And that's it. You don't want to, to to completely rest on the bumper and take a lot for it to come down. You want any type of upset to bring the bumper, the front bumper down like that. And that's the basic recipe for a single pump hop system. Not very complicated. Just you need to get everything dialed in right. As far as shocks, the, sh the, the stock shocks will hop proper and like this. The, the stock shocks, while they don't look very good, they do work. The Northside Custom RC Scale Look Shocks are what I have on all my hop cars and they all pop hard. So yeah, that's the basic recipe for a single pump hop setup on one of these 64 Impalas and the 59. Some hopping basics. I see we got a lot of new guys. I want to give them a little hand on, on helping them get that teeter-totter action when hitting that back bumper on a street style build. I mean, it's, it's gonna also be applicable to the to the them big 10 inch mega hoppers, but this is more for the street builds. However, I mean, some of the stuff will be, car be able to carry over. So basically, when you have the front end dropped or even like slightly up like this, you're still not giving the suspension enough room for the springs to compress and then hit that rebound to help with the hop action to get that rhythm going on. So I end up hitting the bumper and slamming down. And it's hard to get that 
rhythm in there. The trick is to bump up the ride height on the front quite a bit. This gives the, the, the suspension room to, to, to move and then you can get the rhythm. Now, because you have the suspension raised, the first hit isn't going to be as hard as you're all the way low. You're not going to hit back bumper off one hit. But the second hit, if you get the rhythm, you're banging inside the, it's like, it's like the, the, the basketball, or not a basketball, but uh, you, you're basically getting into the rhythm of the hop. I got to move some of my stuff over here, too much crap on my table. Yeah, I got stuff behind the car too. That's how you basically get that rhythm. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to hit the switch with the pop so that you're not going against it. And when you hit it right, you'll feel it. And you'll start to feel when the rhythm is right. And me, I, it, it, I also let go when I'm right at the top, so like help use the front wheels to help swing back. And that's it, man. So I hope that helps some of these new guys getting into the hop game. Just want to see y'all hitting that shit as best as possible.